Hey folks, welcome to the first day of class. This is your first daily forecast. I thought I would start at the top of the course schedule just for today. Um, so for some of you, maybe before you head on to week one, you might just wanna check out the week zero uh, resources here. I sent y'all out an email. If you missed that, you'll probably wanna check that out. Um, and then there's also a video where I just kind of go through the interface of like how to navigate this course online. Um, so that's not a bad idea to kind of check that out. Um, I think it might potentially be helpful. Um, and there's also a typed up document that basically says um, what I said in the video, but I think it actually might be a tiny bit more detailed, especially when it comes to talking about navigating Slack. Again, don't worry about what Slack is because you're going to learn it today. Pew, pew. Anyway, so week one, here we are. So uh, you probably already clicked on the video because you're watching it right now, but there's going to be a hyperlink video right here, which is us right now. It's amazing. Very meta. So then you're just going to follow through the things that we're going to do today. So the first thing you're going to do is watch yet another beautiful uh, video of me talking about our course overview. This is going to be a tiny bit on the long side, maybe like 10 minutes. Um, and it's just the spiel that your professors give you at the uh, beginning of class, like the whole here's what we're doing, that kind of thing. I don't read the syllabus at you. That's really mean. I do want you to read the syllabus, but I'm not trying to talk at you, right? If you want to skip the video because, you know, one video of me is enough. I feel that on a spiritual level. Um, so you can totally check out this written document that just kind of talks about the, the things that um, I am going to be doing in class. The one thing that I wish I would have addressed in the video is that our course is broken up into six different units and we talk about two different theories a piece. I do actually say that. But if you go into our syllabus, and I'll show you this right now, um, it actually walks you through the different units that we're doing and then like the theory. So like unit one is disability theory and psychoanalysis. Unit three is queer of color and abolitionist theories. Unit five is decolonial and postcolonial theories. I'm really focusing on contemporary theories. I just wish that I would have giving you a gist of what the themes were in that video, but alas, we all fall short of the glory, right? So there's that. Um, test two, there's just this cute little survey, and it would just be neat if you would just kind of, you know, fill it out. And it's just a getting to know you thing, like what, what name do you want to be called in class? Um, all those things, what are your pronouns? And if you have multiple pronouns, are there particular ones you want me to use? Um, obviously, if those change, that's totally fine. Like if you use multiple pronouns and those change per day, that's also cool and valid and awesome, right? But it just kind of walks you through those things. I just want to make sure that, um, yeah, that we're cool. Yeah. So I use they, them pronouns, by the way. Um, so task three, um, if you haven't already, accept my invite on Slack. Um, and the reason why that's kind of be important is because you are going to be learning about Slack in this, this next task, task four, okay? Um, this is a LinkedIn learning tutorial. Uh, you have free access to LinkedIn learning through Kent State. All you have to do is use your Kent email login information and it'll, it'll walk you through that. If you don't know how to do that, you, there's this like two minute video of me doing it so you can see how to do that. There are only three chapters that I want you to look at. Um, the person, Ginny Von Quarter, um, she does talk a tiny bit slow, so sometimes I speed up her voice to like one and a half. You can do that on LinkedIn Learning. Skip the quizzes and all that. I don't care about that. I just want you to know how to use um, Slack. This is all we're doing today, so please don't skip it because the thing is, is that I want you to know how to use the channels, how to find the channels, and then also like how to like, uh, like respond um, like in threads um so like sometimes people will just instead of replying there's like a reply feature that there's this little comment bubble and sometimes people forget to use that and then the 
threads just get really unwieldy, right? Because we're not like nesting our responses. So the, this tutorial will kind of show you how to do that. Um, I did want to show you one thing though that, um, well, and I actually say this right here. Um, I do want you to learn how to um, create posts that have multiple, uh, like that have line breaks. Um, and uh, all you do is when you're typing, if you want to, if you want to go to a new line, instead of just pressing return, you have to press the shift key first before you press return. If you press return, it'll just post what you posted, right? And that's kind of a bummer. And so just make sure to hold down that shift key. You can go back and edit it if you mess it up. I do that sometimes. But, you know, there's that lo lovely life hack. If you need me to create a little micro video of that, I will totally do that for you. Okay? So that's literally all we are doing in class today is just becoming acquainted with, like, what the class is, how it's set up, and then how to use Slack, right? I don't want to rush anything because this is us, right? For 16 weeks, this is our ship. Get comfy. Homework, I want you to just edit your Slack profile so that you've got a picture and that you've got your name and your pronouns listed next to um, your, your name so that no one misgenders you because that's no fun. And we don't wanna make assumptions about anyone's pronouns. Um, I also want you to go to the intros channel on Slack um, and you can see that it's hyperlinked right here. And I just want you to introduce yourself. Um, there are a series of questions that I included like what's your, what's your zodiac and all this other stuff, right? Um, you know, fun stuff. And then you can also please talk about like something that you learned um, with the Slack tutorial and then maybe something you're still trying to figure out how to do because it's possible that I will know how to do it, but also one of your peers might know how to do it. And so when you, uh, so then when you get to the step three, once you've done everything, once you've introduced yourself, just re reply to at least two of your uh, classmates posts. I think there are like eight or nine of us in the class. So it's not a bad idea to respond to everybody, but you do you, right? You only have to respond to two, right? Um, so that's your homework for the first day. Um, I appreciate you sticking with me. I know that today is a lot of videos. This is not going to be the case all the time. Most of it is just going to be us like vibing and listening to podcasts. So like, it's going to be all right. It's just today's a little different. Okay. So yeah, let's have a good class. Um, I know it's weird to not meet face to face, but I'm literally in front of the computer at the exact same time that you are. And yeah, we could have totally met on Zoom, but I imagine that all of you are having like a lot of Zoom fatigue or Blackboard Collaborate Ultra fatigue. So I'm trying to like turn that volume down a little bit and, and reduce stress, at least in this class. Okay. Cool beans.